The part of a Hartford Elementary School is under investigation now after the state says something looked fishy with its mastery test results. The state's taking a closer look at an early reading lab after test scores came back. News 8 Stephanie Simone talked with some parents there today and she joins us live outside Matanzas Elementary School with more. Stephanie? Sonia Darren, this school is broken up into two sections, and that reading laboratory, that's the pre-K through third grade students. Those are where the scores came from that's now being questioned by the state. But we spoke with one mom today who has questions of her own. Some test scores alert state educators. Now parents and students at the Dr. Ramon Batanzas Elementary School are on alert. I think I would like surprise. Yeah, I'm like a little bit worried. That's crazy to me. That's because her six-year-old daughter, Maya, loves books. After a year at the Batanzas Early Reading Lab, her favorite teacher is... Dr. Sullivan. I think they're great. I mean, she loves it. She loves her teacher. She's only in kindergarten. She's going to first. And the work that they give her is like algebra. And that's why it came as a surprise that the Department of Education is looking into last year's early reading lab mastery test results. They said it was because of, quote, potential irregularities detected and Hartford Public Schools are cooperating. They would not do an interview as it's under investigation. Now, Condelario says she might do her own investigating. I will have questions for them when she starts in a couple weeks, you know, make sure that we are as parents more alert on the tests that they give them. And this 11-year-old says whenever he took a test here... Like, take it seriously and, and try to do my best. You can't ask much more from a kid. Now, we did reach out to the district, and the superintendent did send us a statement. They said, quote, we take the concerns of testing irregularities very seriously. The superintendent and board chair have requested and are totally committed to a swift, full and swift investigation and to holding any responsible individual or individuals accountable. The school is open on August 27th here in Hartford. Live in Hartford tonight, Stephanie Simone, News 8.